Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Megan and I make really random videos whenever I've got the time. And I'm looking very disheveled today. I don't have my makeup on, so please ignore that. But in the last video, I actually went to a car boot and picked up a couple of items and I went back today. So I thought I would head on down there again today and see if I could find any more gems to potentially sell on. Also, I've got both our eggies in here, which are our two Sphinx cats. So if you can hear some background noise, I do apologize. <laughs> you joining us again today? <laughs> But long story short, I am obsessed with Vinted. I love buying on there, I love selling on there. It has been a huge, great help for things like getting rid of a lot of my stuff because I have way too much stuff and also bringing in a small bit of money. If you don't know what Vinted is, it's literally just a buying and selling app. And I mentioned in my last video, I wish that I'd filmed it, but last weekend, which was one of the bank holidays, I sold about 130, maybe 120 pounds worth of stuff. That money then helped pay for an order I put in for stuff for my office slash studio space. So it is a really good app. And also I'm currently obsessed with watching people, mostly in America, go to garage sales, yard sales, state sales, and they basically resell stuff and flip stuff. We recently bought this house. It is a project house for us and our aim is to flip it and to make more money from it. However, that costs a lot of money and we are learning that very, very quickly. So my plan, is to flip my way to flipping this house. Is it going to be possible? No, because we would need about 50 grand to 100 grand to potentially make a good bit of money on this house. I don't think selling clothes here and there for a pound on Vinted is going to get me there, but it's gonna help. I am constantly going through everything in the house and my own belongings, my own clothes, and adding it up to my Vinted, so I will leave it down below. So I have already been, so I will leave the few clips that I did take here. I'm just in the car park now and it is round and it is raining, which is very frustrating. Oh, I need to clean my car. My dream car is right there. It's a Morris Minor. 1000 and it's black. It's pretty busy. There's quite a lot of people here. We'll see if I find anything. bit damp <laughs> it's mad in the space of 35 minutes the car park is now pretty much empty it is literally like vultures but i did get quite a few items of clothing i definitely didn't get any items for 50p which isn't great but i got some really cute items i don't know if i'm going to keep any for myself the most i paid was three pound for an item i do wash all these items before i list them but the two clothing items that i got yesterday i have already sold so these two items i picked up in the last video did sell so i only paid 50p and this is what i listed them for so the blue dress i listed for 750 and i accepted an offer of five pounds and then the green top i listed for five pounds and i accepted an offer of three pound 75 so that's a 450 profit on the blue dress and a 325 profit on the green top so this one was one of the more expensive items it was three pound which is still next to nothing for a dress but those are the sort of prices you would pay on vinted so i don't know if this one will sell but i'm considering keeping this because this is very much up my alley so you can sort of see what print it is there but it's from next i'm not sure what size it is i'm going to say about an eight or a ten never mind it's a child's dress I should have looked at that before I bought this. This is a 14 years dress. This is, this looks like an eight or a 10. I mean, I wanna try that on because I really like that. It's just a smock dress. It's in really good nick. Interesting. So if I do sell this, I will obviously list it as a child's 14. But if it fits me, I will then state on the listing that it, it fits me and I'm a size 10, so interesting. Definitely should have looked at that first. So next are these boots. These are only a pound. I considered keeping these for myself, but they're not my size. They're a size five. Shoes don't really sell for much on Vinted that I'm aware of. They do need a little bit of a clean, but the actual boot itself is not in bad shape. They're like a cowboy boot and it's that weird faux hair, but these are really, really cute. I wish that these were my size because I would definitely keep these so i'm going to clean them up and list them and we'll see if we can get more than a pound for them before anyone does ask i'm not asking ridiculous prices for any of these because i don't want to rip anyone off these next ones i am considering it keeping because i do love a t-shirt but these are both from salt rock but this is a brownie gray salt rock t-shirt 
and it's got this cool little sunbathing skeleton and then on the back it says salt rock let the good times roll and there it is i again i have no idea what size this is i've just realized there is a minor bleach mark on the back there but i did only pay a pound for it it's a medium i might keep this one might sell it on i'm not sure the first t-shirt i actually sold on poshmark i will talk about poshmark in a future video but i only paid a pound for it i listed it for five and it did sell for five pounds but poshmark take fees so after the fees were deducted i ended up with four pounds which left me with a three pound profit and then this one again i'm not sure if i want to keep this or not but it's kind of this not quite acid wash but this kind of gray color and again i'm going to assume a medium yep salt rock medium and it has this big truck on the front just a salt rock custom fitting since 88 and there's nothing on the back of this one but it seems to be in quite good nick so again only a pound might keep it might sell it no idea and then this salt rock t-shirt again only paid a pound for it this one sold on vintage i listed it for five pound and accepted an offer of four pound which gave me again a three pound profit and then i got these next items all for six pound this is really cool the daughter asked for two pounds wait two i think she wanted two for that and then a pound for each of these five six yeah so i suppose it was two pound i don't think i'll get two pound for this but i felt really awkward putting it back and it's just a bodysuit so the brand is Georgia small slash medium and it is basically just a mesh nude bodysuit but then it's got all these diamantes all over it which is super cool and it is by the looks of it a thong we'll see about that one and then I have no idea what I'll get from these but they're from somewhere called First Avenue Collection these are a 16 but they're not a newer brand so sizes change all the time don't they but they're these long wide leg trousers and you probably can't see on the camera but they're like a really deep aubergine purple they're really nice so I'm going to give them a go because they're in a really good nick they're really nice condition then this one i have no idea if this will sell this is from love yours yours i recognize this brand that's the label there and it is this bright pink tie-dye smock dress it's really cool it's like a t-shirt smock dress and this is the 22 to 24 and i know that plus size girls find it really hard to find clothes because most fast fashion places like or charity shops anywhere really don't cater to plus size girls that much so i'm hoping that this will go this one sold really quickly I paid a pound for it and i put it on vintage for 750 and I sold it for five pounds, so that gave me a four pound profit. And then finally, this one's really cute. I'm considering keeping this one for myself, which isn't really the point of buying these clothes, but this is M&S, so M&S collection. It is a size 10, ooh, made in Georgia, but it's a lovely like zebra print dress, and it's probably like a midi length, and the sleeves come in a bit, and then you can choose how many buttons you obviously want to do up, but it's got quite a lot of eye hole buttons i think this is a really really cute dress so whether or not i keep it again i'm not sure and then finally this dress i paid two pound for i listed it for eight pound fifty and accepted an offer for six fifty so i ended up with a four pound fifty profit i'm gonna get all those washed then i'm gonna photograph them put them on vintage and then i'll keep you guys updated if they sell or not okay hi guys so it's been a short while since i filmed all those clips and i realized i didn't actually film an outro for it i'm just gonna scooch this way that was awkward and i'm gonna put it on screen here again just as a little breakdown so the blue dress cost me 50p i sold it for five pounds green top paid 50p got 375 the school t-shirt paid a pound got four pound the chuck t-shirt paid a pound got four pound the pink dress paid a pound got five pound the white and black dress paid two pound got 650 total it came to 28.25 so take away the six pound that i spent on those items i got a 22 pounds and 25p profit which i know sorry i see koshka reaching up for me here I know that doesn't sound like much, but it's 22 25 that I wouldn't have had before for minimal effort. Like it doesn't take a lot of effort to sell these items. And that's just a few of the things that I bought. I have been selling a lot of my own stuff on there and I have been selling a lot more of things that I have been buying recently. And it is just an extra little bit of money every few days that just goes into my account that is going to be helping towards anything from day to day life to saving up for things that we need to have done to the house. I might sit down and do an actual video where I talk about what did sell over the last few weeks because since I filmed that clip a lot of things have sold. If I check my vintage balance I've got over £40 just sat in there waiting to come in. So you have to let me know if you enjoy this video, if this is something that you would consider doing because I really enjoy it and like I said it's just extra bit of pocket money and cash to help out here and there but I'm going to leave this video here so thank you so much for watching. Please give me a massive thumbs up, leave me comment down below and subscribe if you aren't all my social media is linked down below as well so feel free to head over there and check it out but apart from that i'll see you in my next one bye